Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, as the case may be. I'm Steve McClure. Uh, I'm uh, presently at JPL. I'm the, the mission control or the uh, radiation control manager for the Europa Clipper mission, which is uh, uh, behind me here. I'm uh, giving a talk next week on that, so I thought, thought I'd put that up as background. Um, I guess some of the, the speakers that I've I've heard that have inspired me. Uh, I'd, I'd say one of them is a fellow uh, here at JPL, uh, Hank Garrett, who's uh, uh, very high level in, in, in our industry. Uh, he speaks from the heart. He speaks with examples. Uh, he does put a lot of wordy charts up, but uh, uh, people are always focused on what he's saying, what, what, how he's uh, 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 giving the experience to the people. Um, uh, and I actually have invited him to, to a couple of conferences and had him speak on, on his topic and he was always very entertaining. Uh, and so I would use him as, as a bit of an example. And again, uh, uh, he, uh, he really speaks to the audience. He does have wordy charts, but he keeps the focus on himself. Uh, another uh, example I'd say is uh, Barack Obama, who really uh, enunciates. He's he's very eloquent in his speaking, uh, very straightforward, uh, uh, very clear in his speech. And he doesn't speak down to people. He speaks in a in a clear uh, manner that that uh, that the average person would would understand. Uh, and the last person I'd say would would be my dad, who uh, I've I've seen a few of his presentations, and he actually uh, is still presenting even though he's uh, retired. Uh, he uh, gave me a couple of examples of, of presentations that he's about to give to his uh, uh, engineering society. And what I found what, from his presentations was he, get, again, tells a story. He's speaking to the audience. He doesn't use bullets. Uh, he uses a few pictures. Uh, and he tells a, a, a story that is, is chronological in order. Um, some of my experiences at JPL, uh, I've had a, a number of times where I've had to present in front of uh, two or three hundred people, and I'd say uh, 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 the experiences. Sometimes the experiences have been very good. Sometimes they they've been uh, a little shaky. What I can say from that experience is, is the times that I'm presenting for the project, things that they want me to say. Uh, I'd say those are the shakiest times uh, uh, when, when I'm not comfortable with the material. If I'm very comfortable with the material, if it's a technical talk, work that I've done, I'm very comfortable with, it, with presenting that. But when it's uh, a, a set of uh, uh, requirements, uh, things that are, are, are coming from the project, or somebody else's presentation. I once had to give, it, give a presentation at a conference uh, for somebody who couldn't attend and that was very troubling. Uh, but I would say one of the methods I used to get through that was I talked to a lot of the key people in the industry who I knew were gonna ask questions at the end of the, uh, of the talk, and I basically loaded them with the, with the questions I was comfortable with answering. Uh, so at the end of the talk, uh, I, I redeemed myself by answering questions that I already knew what the, uh, what the answer was, and uh, I think I, I Created relationships with people who were in that industry, um, such that uh, they they had a good time uh, with with my presentation and and they helped me out uh, in, in in doing so. I'm hoping that this class will help me uh, broaden my capabilities to uh, present. Uh, uh, in the next few years, I think I'll be presenting quite a bit uh, more to a wider audience and. Uh, uh, that's one of my reasons for, for taking the class. Thank you very much.